I can't speak on the whole genre of pottery because it's so wide and vast. I can only speak of what my family did. Of course, my great-grandfather Julian was painting, he was a painter. Um, what people don't really realize is that my father, my grandfather, my great-grandfather were all painters by trade, and then the pottery came secondary. So when people ask them, you know, what you are, they were painters by trade. So that led into them painting the pottery and her and Maria making the pottery. This one really speaks out to me because it's a very traditional piece and I kind of wonder what their influences were at that time. Also my father's work. If you look at people um, that do scafido work now, I mean, these lines are so clean. I and mean, this is already fired and it's very brittle. And when you put that line in there, it's almost impossible to get a straight, straight line and, and a delicate line like that. And he was a master at that. And then, you know, like the Maria plates, of course, you know, it's like the delicate, intricate designs. You know, if you see people ever paint with a yucca brush, it's not like a contemporary brush you use today. You know, it takes finesse and real motor control to get a lot of this line. And then you got to know about how much layering you're putting on it to actually get that matte color. The uh, black on black that Julian Maria perfected that, but my grandfather Popovi perfected the gunmetal. And the gunmetal is like a black with a kind of a, a nicer sheen on it, like a, a gunmetal kind of sheen. They're all very beautiful pieces and they all tell a different story, you know, and they all talk from different generations. Vanyu is, um, it's like a protector of the water. It's a spirit of the water. Of course, water is very important, you know, in that kind of area. So it's an image you'll see a lot in Pueblo pottery. You can find that same image on a petroglyph somewhere in the near area. You know, Bandelier has them everywhere. Everything has a, an entity to it. Everything has a spirit to it. I'm very influenced by my family and my culture, but I, I can't, I have to speak about the contemporary world we live in. You know, people look at my work and they're like, why do you do pastel? Why don't you do pottery? But you know, I think, I really feel like your medium picks you and you don't really have a choice in that. And I like the medium because um, it's very two-dimensional, but it allows you to use your hands. I mean, this, nothing's better than blending pastel is with your fingers. It's very contemporary. If you're familiar with uh, Kiva, there's always a spot where the spirits come through. This is a very contemporary version of that. This is the top half. This is the world we live in at the top. This is the bottom. This is the spirit world. They made these kind of kachinas to be very spiritual with the wings coming out of their head. They're guardians of the earth and then this power coming up through the kiva, through the hole. So it's like, we live in this very traditional world, we're influenced by these traditional elements, but we, we live in a very modern society too, and somehow that coexists together. It speaks of two worlds, a traditional and a spiritual world. And this, I think of this as like prayer, it's a prayer.